All right, we are now ready for the next run, which is going to be Rise of the Tomb, Ra Tomb Raider, uh, Wicked, Wicked Whale Glitchless by Genesis. So Genesis, do take it away. Go. All right, hi guys. Uh, it's Genesis. I did a speed run the other day. Uh, I think it was yesterday. I don't remember. Uh, I did blood ties, hundred percent, and now I'm back for my actual, uh, not the category I run all the time, but we're still gonna have a good time with this one. I'll probably want to reset anyway. the timer. <laughs> nah, we're going to work. Started at two hours and eight minutes and totally not overestimate. Yeah. All right, so um, just some background on this the wicked veil vale is a dlc area that came with the baba yaga dlc it's an entirely separate area that unlocks after you reach the gulag so we're going to be playing the game normally up until then and then we're going to split off from the main path and head off to a new area so uh just you ready start. piku yeah just start right. the game and we can explain some more of the all right let me get ready for the countdown okay yeah. for the timer three, okay two, three one, two go one yes let's go yay did i see my dog outside he's coming home anyways so the first section is pretty slow we just have to walk slowly up a mountain because it's cold and jonas in our way uh yeah so like you said we're gonna play the game normally with just until we come to a place called gulag which means it's a soviet concentration camp or something like yes, that. so gu gulags and are work camps for the people that they captured the during, I believe, the Cold War. Hey, I believe that's the time period. It here, might be 1960. Or was the Second know, World War, something but like I have that. A good feeling about Anyways, this. there we're gonna meet some girl who's gonna try to shoot us without bullets, and then we're gonna go out and fight her grandma. That's not yeah, the law. You okay? Lost my footing. Alright. So just slow walking, and to be fair, Mount Peak is probably the most boring area of the glitchless speedrun because uh, the out of bounds is kind of awesome. But it's also really dangerous. If you mess it up, you get wrecked. Yeah, you can lose a lot of time here try, just by trying to go fast. For glitched. Yes, but they also glitchless. Yeah, it's practice like I have. Or I haven't. Ooh, that was close. Totally don't want to leap off the mountainside. So here is just a climbing tutorial, so they're teaching you how to climb, but of course we just go fast because easy. Yep. And then you have to wait a bit just to show you wanna can be ready and actually catch you. Or I should just to fall down and to be out over again. But. Yeah, but it's the nice thing is that area doesn't take very long. It takes maybe 15 seconds to climb. So if you mess it up, it's not the end of the world, but if you usually mess it up twice, you gotta reset. As you lose too much time. Yeah, and of course, like every Tomb Raider start or intro, it's just absolutely boring. Dude, yeah. I just installed a new graphics card and I didn't raise my settings from looking like crap. From looking like crap to looking a bit <laughs> looking decent. <laughs> shit to decent. Oh yeah, I can jump here. I forgot. I found this. Yeah, I don't, you said don't can't feed it. Hours hours. <laughs> don't think about it. Should be enough time. <laughs> We're almost to the top. Anyhow, anyhow, we're going up to even more climbing. So the mountain peak is pretty much just a climbing tutorial, and it's it's for maneuvering on walls because that wasn't too prominent in the first game. There were a couple points where it happened, but they're also trying to just like, for one, it's a, it's a tutorial, and it's also like. They're climbing a mountain, so... Also, I love what happens here. We're climbing up really fast, we're doing the speedrunners thing, and then Lara says, let's take it slow and steady as we're at the top. Which is, I think, probably one of my favorite moments in the entire game. Yeah, I would try to... I would also take it slow if I know that something's gonna break. Yeah, but we're speedrunners. We know things aren't gonna be fatal for Lara. Oh, I didn't get the skip, dang. I wasn't able to do the early cutscene initiation. I brought, I dropped. Thank you. I must have hit X and not circle. My bad. 
So also for reference, um, I play this game with a controller, but I am playing on a PC. Yeah, that's also cool. What he meant is dropping is that sometimes when Lara tries to grab, grap onto a wall with the spawning access, she will like almost fall down and you have to recover. But that animation takes forever, so we just drop down and we grab them. It takes like a split second or so. You know, I hate that the swinging mechanic never comes back in the entire game. The only place it's used is right here at the beginning, and it's super obnoxious. Yep, same thing in 2013. Have it there once and never use it Yeah, there's a swinging at the beginning, but the swinging at the beginning actually makes sense. Oh my god, I literally hit that on frame one. I almost just killed myself. Oh god. <laughs> so, uh... Um, what it, for you to say, man. So what I mean there by I almost hit that on frame one. Um, so when Lara is swinging towards that wall, when you're close enough for her to grab the wall, dang it, I got the, I had to drop. Uh, when you're close enough for her to grab the wall, she'll reach, uh, like pull out her axe, like she's ready to grab onto the wall. And um, if you press the button too early then she's gonna like spin around and then you have to do another swing and probably the kind of tight so you don't have a lot of extra room when it comes to swinging. I think you have like two three chances on the first one and two chances on the second one. Yes I have failed that before that one time. And here also do we, we don't want to grab that so we just grab the eyes on this thing instead. Yeah, avoid an extra what ledge cut. So that's one thing that's actually fun turning rise is all the small mushrooms on the game. Which will be Yeah, they will arrive throughout the entire game. Just small things you can do to improve the time with a few seconds or split seconds and so on and so on. And yeah, now we're in London. You can see by the rain. And also by the text that said London England. No, nobody reads, anyway. <laughs> Just like how this is, uh, doesn't this say... Oh no, the northern border of Syria is in the cutscene. Oh, no, never mind, there it is, northwest border of Syria. That's on me. No turning back. It has to be Yeah, I'm still a, f I'm a few seconds behind yours, so... I didn't see it before, like, three, five seconds after this time, but... Ah. Mm. Stop, okay. Yeah. And now we no, have very slow, mandatory walking sections. Then we're gonna we to the the down the tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the prophet was laid to rest. But yeah, so the lore behind that, because everything is lore, and the thing we will not do is we're gonna find some kind of thing that can no! make people immortal. I've never failed that before. I have never failed that before. It was said the prophet's tomb was I've never failed that. that. One of the forgotten cities. We are continuing some work of Lars Dad started with, trying to find to some guy called the prophet. And he apparently had a way to make people immortal. So that's the main story of the game. What? Which we will not do. What is happening? It was said We're going the prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above I'm a one speedrunner. of the forgotten cities. <laughs> Legend wow, alright. Oh, if you're going too fast, you're actually going just slow. She's... Okay, I'm not doing that anymore. That's three fails, I'm not doing that again. What on earth is happening? <laughs> I've never messed that trick up before. So what I'm trying to do is, um, instead of climbing straight up, you can jump up and to the right. And then you can skip uh, a little bit of this, but what? I I never I've never failed that, and then the I right fail it twice in a row, edge. three times. Yeah, you're probably, you're probably not far far enough to the right. Something's here. So she so just. Could this really be it? Oh, it's kind of precise, so I guess that's most of us. That's precise. I've never had yeah, trouble with that precise. before. Right now. Wow, that's. Oh, uh, I understand why it's precise. <laughs> Very Sometimes great start to this <laughs> speedrun. Yeah, yeah, just lost one and a half minutes on three deaths in Star Wars. 
Yikers. Perfect. <laughs> it wasn't one and a half, but yeah, it wasn't a lot of it was a lot of time. Wait, I checked the timer. I am. God, I'm so used to doing hundred percent. I turned. I didn't turn the camera to the right. Ah oh, yes, the hundred percent chance going strong. <laughs> um, for uh, so I am generally the one hundred percent speedrunner for Rise. Um, that is my main category. But this is one of the categories that I created because it's, it's actually really fun. It's a very enjoyable category, and you don't really see much of the DLC because people don't usually get it. But I like the DLC, so I thought I'd turn it into a category because it's fun. And yeah. it's cool. And, and this Martian Marker still showed up in both. The only one we haven't showed off is down there. Oh, good. I got a decent one. So, uh, what I did there, by the way, is I staggered a jump in the air so that I could go underneath a cutscene trigger. Because usually when that yeah. falls, uh, Lara gets into a cutscene where she falls onto the rock and then like holds her side and like goes like, ah, 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 because uh, she managed to avoid falling to her death by going down the pillar. Yeah, and that's like the one of the only places where we just do this differently. Because I actually wait, not stop stall me there. I actually wait until I'm about the same height as the ledge I can grab onto and then jump. On. Can't do it both ways. Boo. Oh yeah, are you gonna see if they're running speed us? Ah, uh, I don't see them. Oh, oh I don't see them. Oh, are they here? Got some skips in my too. Ah, uh, no flying scorpions. Sad day. Run is not blessed. Yeah. So sometimes in this cutscene, it can be like a flying scorpion just walking casually through the air, or up to tree, I believe people said. Uh, they're uh, mainly flying scorpions if they go through Lara's head. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen any of those yet, unfortunately, but people say there is the Legend of Flying Scorpion. Mainly Tau. Oh, I gotta bring it to hardware failure. Cutscene skips into triple A, indeed. They're blocking their way in. Welcome to the first ever puzzle section here, which is about the puzzle work. Completed. Puzzle finished. Let's hope this works. Oh, you shoot you shoot it down before you? Yeah, the because you're on a time limit. And because um, maneuvering with the controller isn't super precise, I shoot it in it. I shoot it before, just to save myself the pain of if I miss it. Yeah, oh, I think good. I had to shoot it off, but it was a bit too close to the ESA because Laura was more or less on yeah, the no, water. The water covered the camera when you shot it, which yeah, I was actually surprised by reviewing the footage that you got the credit for it, but. <laughs> Never complain. It works so well. I'm gonna see if you get this. I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna try to do the shortcut. We'll see if I can do it. I well, haven't I, had I good luck with it recently, so we'll see if I can do it. It's it's probably Stunning. one of the hardest. We For glitchless, that. indeed. Am I on top? Yeah, I'm on top. No! You should get the dive. Alright, not getting it. If you want to explain yeah, that so while I go to the right path. What we try to do there is you can actually jump somewhere in the corner between the grave and the pillar. And she will hit some ground, you can then jump up to the next area. So you don't have to open this wall. Both. And yeah, it saves like... What, three or four seconds, something like that. It saves a lot of time. Oh, is it? I think it saves like 12 seconds if you get it first try. Because you, you prevent yourself from having to walk over. Wait! <gasps> what? <gasps> that was not a glitch. That was not a glitch. I promise that was not a glitch. What? I didn't know we could do that! Okay, okay I just found a new trick, guys. <laughs> are, you, are you certain? Didn't you do the axe climb twice there? No. I didn't do two axe climbs because I was stuck in the air. Lara landed in the water and then did another jump. 
That was not a glitch, I promise. That was not a glitch. <laughs> okay, so it might see history I'll try to do that one. Okay, I just so, discovered a new trick. <laughs> yeah, we still have to go into that before before we go and go with those around. No, no 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 Laura, what are you doing? Yeah, so what happened there is he went into the garage or went hit some kind of hitbox made it stay in the air and he could just instantly go up. Reset. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I didn't glitch that. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to review it, but I'm almost 100% certain that wasn't a glitch. <laughs> like, there's two two things that can make that a glitch. The first one is if you did more than one axe climb, which is actually look like different axe away ones. I'm not sure if you press the button, which is like you did two axe climbs. And the second one is how you define that swimming in the air. My. I sure hope that doesn't count as a glitch, otherwise... <laughs> okay, reset. Well, not reset, but I got a reload checkpoint. <laughs> yeah. I should have saw it. I didn't it's jump straight because I thought I was going to miss it. This probably can't be a bug. Oh, we have to review that. Oh then. my so god, I just... Like... you got to be kidding me. Did you jump into the... No, I missed. Guys, this is amazing. Oh, Good oh, measure that's... pace. Totally incoming here. Yeah, of course. Also, want... how well this category's run. <laughs> it's a good thing this run has only me as a runner in it, so there's no competition. Uh, I'm glad you guys well, can see my skill at this video game. Yeah, yeah. You can jump into the middle there, and those things actually start to break. They shouldn't just fall down. Oh my god. So he messed up the easiest part of that. I messed up both sure. of the easy parts. I got the hard parts nailed, and the easy parts I screwed. Oh my god. It's only like 15 minutes. So, uh, How far behind do you think I am? Well, if you had to guess how far behind I am right now, what do you think? Because I have my splits I open. Say more than two minutes at this point. Uh, not quite. <laughs> we'll find out as soon as we hit Mountain Peak. But all right, I said around wilderness, but I believe I'm gonna be 120 behind. <laughs> so I managed to save like three seconds <laughs> with uh, whatever that trick was that I did. I pretty sure I didn't hit the X button twice, but I'm not certain. I guess. Yeah, well, all, all, all the thing I can go off this is a wish also. Okay, I'm 118 behind. I think I saved like three seconds with that trick, but I still lost a minute to win. Yeah, I'm like a <laughs> From minute just to die being twice. Bad at this then... video game. <laughs> Nobody's good at this video game. <laughs> no, we pretend we are, and then the game does stuff like this that really humbles us, saying, You still suck. Keep moving. Yep. <laughs> This, okay, to be fair, this game really isn't brutal. It's a very speedrunner friendly game. And if you if you want to enter the Tomb Raider series, this is the best game to start with in the reboots. Because it's actually the easiest of the three reboots to run. But oh, the problem yeah, is because I've been running this for so long, I get super cocky. <laughs> and then stuff like that happens. Well, you did still good in ESA, even though... <laughs> I know, which is... And then this yes, happens. Was quite glorious. See, this is, this anyway. is what I get for doing like decently in the SA. It's like, no, 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 you built up too much good karma. Now we need to take it away. Yeah, I message. wouldn't say this is, this is the, like the easiest any percent on here. But which less is. I would say that the team the is easier most of the time because it doesn't have that much. Like all those. No, I and everything. Oh, Just by the much. way, since we didn't really explain what happened, uh, for Syria, what we did was we jumped on a barrier, uh, and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to prevent Lara from walking out of bounds, but because it's uh, a small barrier, we're still able to jump on it, and as such, we can go past the border of the play space, question mark, but it's still technically not out of bounds, consensus. So, Damn it. yeah, we just jump it on, on some small hitboxes in a row and then we skip like 10 seconds to begin. I mean, to be fair, this game has so many out of bounds hitboxes, it's absurd. It's like they expected the player to go like 
10 miles off because there's out of bounds hitboxes literally everywhere. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Yeah, it's All right. like looking at Yeah, this game is so beautiful, I know. This game is totally not destroyed and broken. I mean, this game yeah, would look nicer it, but... if I had my settings not on the lowest settings because I was doing a uh I did a glitched 100% run a little while ago, which uh, you need to have the settings all on the lowest. Trinity. So, um, you have the highest FPS. Even with my new graphics card, if I don't have it on the lowest settings, I don't hit 100. Which is kind of depressing. Yeah, the game's really not optimized as well. I feel like I want to do a shout out to my uh, glitch less glitch that I made. But that's mostly just my hardware failure. You know, actually, Lemon said if you try to turn around and look at the bear, it's an instant kill. Even if you maintain maximum speed forward, it instantly kills you if you try to look at the bear. Oh, my controller disconnected. Fantastic. We need a controller, aren't we? Uh, the bear's about to kill me, I think. Yeah. No, he's not. I'm dead. Who needs controls anyway? Uh, not me, apparently. Controllers are optional. I don't need to be able to run the game at, the mo at my best capabilities. She totally just switched to keyboard and mouse in the middle of a run that I don't know how to use keyboard and mouse very well. Of course. What else would you do? <laughs> Fantastic idea. Thank you for your insight, Piku. It's totally what I'm going to do from now on. Yeah, do it. <laughs> what could ever go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Nothing, of no, course. No edge swing. It's not fast with a controller. It just prefers to play with a controller. Okay, so I played this. I originally bought this game for PC. This is my history. I bought it for PC originally, but I could never get past intro because the game kept crashing and it was having its own share of problems. So I got it on console instead and played it on console for like a year and a half. And then everyone's like, oh yeah, no, just get the uh, PC version. And I'm like, well, it crashed all the time. I'm like, well, yeah, just download the newest version. It should be fine. So I did that and then it worked. And so because I've been spending all my time playing on PC or on controller, I couldn't play with the keyboard. So because I couldn't play with the keyboard, I just integrate, I just used the controller, got a USB extension cord and I've been playing with the controller. And yet, I still have times that rival even the guys who play on keyboard. And actually, shameless nod, uh, when we went to ESA, uh, I raced this guy and another Rise of the Tomb Raider speedrunner in any percent glitchless, and still managed to get uh, the record. What am I doing? Going over here. 100% mentality, man. I should not have played 100% recently, because now all I'm doing is doing 100% stuff, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess I can agree that the controller character is faster, but then again, there's a few combat sections that we need the mouse for. It's faster like using the mouse, but then also there's uh, some sections where, like, if you're doing any percent glitchless, um, there's one point towards the end where you have to fire trebuchets, and apparently on uh, two of them, if you have the controller equipped, you can still use, uh, turn the trebuchet when it enters a cutscene, whereas you can't do that if you're playing uh, with the mouse. I don't know why, but so someone who played on PC with a mouse noticed that when I got a world record in the any percent glitchless category. It was a strange little phenomenon that we still can't really explain. So that's like one yeah. little advantage of a controller that's super minimal. Yeah, that's why I'm, I feel like the controller on the keyboard and mouse mark the same speed. Like overall well, the system. problem with the controller is you actually have to rotate it, whereas um, for PC okay, you just yeah. have to press the button. Trail. <coughs> oh, of course. I feel like the difference are quite minimal. So we haven't gone to that optimization yet, so we have to start comparing. Yeah, we have hit that level. But it was just interesting uh, shit. that there was something minuscule like that that actually made a difference. Before. Uh, from controller to keyboard. Yeah, like, they're so small comparisons. I don't really Hello, matter. get up there. I, I I pressed Axe only once. I only pressed it once, but it, it was weird because it didn't look like I pressed it once. What am I doing? I need to pick up this. We're using poison arrows. I still pick this up. Even though we're doing Wicked Veil and poison arrows are pretty much useless in Wicked Veil. <laughs> 
attack poison arrows are useless in Wicked Veil. You think I can get the quick kill? I'm not gonna get the quick kill. I missed an arrow. I, I got it charged me, but it's still okay, I guess. Yeah, oh my god, 32 I second gold them. for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, we're not that far from the DLC area now, right? Actually, we are. Shit. Well, the DLC gold. area is after the end of the Gulag, and the DLC area is out by the Voice of God Challenge Tomb. We are very far away from it. Wait, do you have to go to True Prison to get the DLC area? Yes, it unlocks after you complete the Gulag. Oh. Okay, so I have to actually go see Jacob. We have a to long rescue. way to go. We get to we get to rescue Jacob. Okay. Which nobody likes but Sarah. Jacob is the is arguably the worst character in the game. Followed only by Constantine because he's the enemy. A Byzantine war galley. Oh my God! Did I actually say if you have a controller equipped? Did I actually say that? I think you did. <sighs> oh my God! I can't believe. <laughs> Also, keep in mind, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep the last two nights because on short notice I found I was running Blood Ties and then I was up really late uh, the night before that. So I think I ran Blood Ties last night, but I can't seem to remember for the life of me. No, it wasn't last night. It was two nights ago. Last night, okay, yeah. Last night I was up playing Bloodborne until 3.30 a.m., so didn't sleep well. And then right now it's 2 a.m. and I'm doing another run, so... I, uh... Oh, can I get the quick swim? Huh. Huh. Yes, I got it. Now let's just hope I don't take any damage. Sick. Okay. I love my names for the Wicked Veil Glitchless splits. They're kind of amazing. Do you got the meme names? Yeah, okay, so um, I called Siberia the Ruins of Alf. I called um, Siberian Wilderness uh, so, the Breath of the Wild. And then I called Soviet Installation Disestablishmentarianism because it's kind of awesome. And then uh, that includes the Gulag as well. And then um, I have when we actually go off to the Wicked Vale. Samantha is a celebrity, bro. I used to stealth kill those guys. I used to kill everyone in this run. Then just leave and got mad at Thank you very much, uh, Saman. Hopefully everything goes well. So far, I'm on, I'm ha I've had a bad start, but hopefully it gets better. Just over. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna say that I kind of miss rice, but I kind of also not miss rice. But I also know that I, can't I mean, we need, rice. you need a break every so often. That's why I started breaking off to play Shadow, and you're working on 2013. Hey, good point. I mean, I'm okay. That was really close. I'm uh, practically done with rice too because I have my 100% record, which is all I cared about. I wanted to get a really good time. Uh, because I knew I could, and I beat it by 14 minutes. I can still probably improve that by almost another 10 if I just get a little better at the game, but... Yeah, I'm mostly just done with life because I can't play it on my PC, so... Well, also, we spent so much time playing it at ESA. <laughs> at least me well, and I Lemon did. You didn't spend that much time. I had practice before ESA. <laughs> I, I almost tried to do the roleplay. Do I almost tried. I didn't, but I almost tried it. <laughs> hey, wait, that's illegal. Almost tried it. Almost. <laughs> Remember, I'm kind of out of experience from playing Glitchless, because I've literally been playing almost exclusively Glitched 100%. So. I remember apparently, um, wait, was Lemon trying to teach you the 100% route and he accidentally did a roll clip because he was he wanted to be fast? Uh, he, I think he was trying to teach somebody 
uh, the glitchless any percent route. Also, I don't know why we can't use my exploit. I really want to use it anyway because I hate this cutscene, but I'm going to say you guys for now and just not do it, even though it's not a glitch by definition, it's an exploit. It is. Okay, it's not a glitch. It just looks like one, but it's not. It's yeah, as glitchy. It's as glitchy as Siberian as uh, sorry si as Syria escape. It's the same level of glitchiness. Which is the reason that I kind of get upset when you guys are like, no, it's totally a glitch. Anyway, we just have some walking to do here. We're just gonna climb up to do a jump off the old shack and then just keep on with the puzzle. Yeah. I haven't done Wikivale glitchless since Tomb Raider Marathon. I think I can actually world record this because I've been having actual glitchless practice. <laughs> like I'm pretty. We're not changing game to mirror actually. What? what? Oh. Oh, with the amount of parkour I'm doing because I'm just kind of running around. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. You can actually, do, have, you actually have time for like two rolls there. Quite interesting. Yes. Yeah, for glitch and equal glitch. We're about to do another thing that looks like a glitch, but really isn't a glitch. What are you gonna do now? We're gonna climb the wall. Well, we're just climbing a bunch of rocks that are actually hitbox. What's hitbox is not. So technically, we're just jumping rocks. Yeah, I'm calling total BS on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we are now in the gulag. Almost. Almost. Okay, let's yeah, see if I can get this. Through prison. There's a breeze coming through here. Can I find it? Might be able to break through. I can't find it. This is not a glitch. I say it's not a glitch because to a lot of people um, you know that I've that? talked to on the outside, these things look glitchy. And so I'm like, <laughs> it's totally not a glitch because to a lot of people that I've shown who know nothing about the game, they say, oh, that totally is a glitch, right? And I'm like, no, it's not. And I have to explain it. And then they kind of get it. But sometimes they don't. Like, especially when I showed them Syria exit, they said that doesn't, that looks totally like a glitch. But then I showed them the exploit I wanted to do and they're like, no, that doesn't look like a glitch at all. That looks like a game mechanic. Anyway, so it's just, I've heard mixed, uh, mixed opinions and all this stuff, so I have to say it, it's not a glitch. Because it's a consensus from all the runners that these things aren't glitchy. Will you fire the arrow, please? Rune state's not glitchy, so it's not a glitch. That's how the world works. Okay. Yeah, Edgewing, that's so what So, you say glitching through walls. How about using an animation um, landing yes. mechanic to go through a fence that doesn't really have much of a hitbox besides being paper thin? How long were you in that cell? I'm going through it. Long enough but to it's not a glitch. If anything, Syria Exit is more of a glitch. The divine no, that's just jumping. Is it here? The exploit is literally just jumping and then pressing the jump button again because then you scramble up a ledge. You know what? We can settle this debate. Yeah. We can settle this debate. As soon as we finish, I can pull it. Since we're a super far ahead, we can settle this debate with the chat. All right? Plan? Fine. Hey, I can just accept it's a glitch when they say it's going to be a glitch then. It's not a glitch. It is definitely not a glitch. It is an exploit by definition. Oh, that was really awkward. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to actually do, like, the area stealthy and not just clip through the double doors, which would be nice, though. Oh crap, I'm gonna get seen, aren't I? Oh, I got seen. I still killed him by shooting him in the leg, but... <sighs> Alright, let's try that again. All right. I did not miss the kill this time. Anyways, we got it. Again, stop all the stuff. I want that I can do some sellout stuff. Yay. No! Oh my god, press the button! Oh my god, I jumped. 
Oh. This is so bad, Biku. Can you do, let me do my <laughs> sellout stuff for the rest of the Yeah, go do sellout okay. stuff. This is going horribly. <laughs> but yeah, sellout. Because we are actually benefiting your rescue. And we're actually only $92 from our goal of 500 Your rescue is an organization that helps animals get off the street into new good homes, give them treatments, and so on. Jacob. And so if you want to donate to a great cause, you can yard. use it. Yeah. Donate. And also, all donations can be put towards incentives, and all those are listed with, with that. Incentives list can be found in excellent like incentives. So if you got to your dose spare for some good dogs, please hit that and make more donate. Be careful, Lara. Drop off, Lara! Don't grab onto it. So, um, Satari, that is not my opinion. I do not believe that all glitches are exploits. All right. I believe the opposite. Well, not quite the opposite, but it's like... Um, okay, well, I do believe that exploits are not glitches. Uh, no, I don't do Uncharted runs. Um, I believe... So... The reason I say it's an exploit and not a glitch is because we aren't... Let me see how I phrase this. Um, what we're doing is... The way I, I think of an exploit is that it's using an intended mechanic uh, to produce an unintended result. And the intended mechanic is that when Lara lands, if there's a climbable ledge next to her, then uh, she will try to grab onto it if you jump again. And that's oh shit! Come on, let me finish. But like, that's the kind of school of thought that I come from. And it's like, it is actually using an intended mechanic. Oh, go over the shoulder! And it just produces a result that's unintended. Whereas like, uh, back scrambling into a wall while aiming is definitely not an intended mechanic, but it produces an unintended result. That's it. Yes, kind of. If I, if I understand what you're saying, then yes. Also, I accidentally took rapid crafting and not um, the armor. Okay, good. I didn't die. <laughs> that could have been dangerous. Anyway, we'll settle the debate once we get to the end of the run, because there's a campfire at the end. I can just skip travel back here and then show you exactly what I'm talking about, because the train yard is literally right next to where we need to do it. And you guys can tell me if it's a glitch or not. Hiku, feel free to talk. I'm not trying to overwrite anything you're saying. I'm actually going to... I'll soon be back to talking. I'm just looking at some stuff. Some of the stuff. But yeah, most of the time you try to pick up the thick skin because, well, we have a bunch of fighting blue hair. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's a love. Indeed I am, but it doesn't matter because you're still not going to kill me. Assuming you don't laser me. Ooh, no lasers. Beautiful. What happened here? Yeah, enemy. Enemy's got about three what the states, hell was that? I would say. Or at least two states in, in how they can Okay, it. this is a lot of uh, stuff that's never happened before. Yeah, just bugging through a fence. I didn't walk through the fence. Anyways. Yeah, like when you fell, fell down, you fell more fell to She Okay, I think what actually happened is that because um, she, she was in the falling animation, there must be a little ledge on the other side of that fence that you can slide on. Yeah, or she, or she slid it off the walk situation or something like that. Anyways, but what I was saying, enemies got like two states. They either can't hit shit or they absolutely laser you. Like, you automatically fire 15 rounds in your ass. And that 15? Oh, really? What the? What is happening to my game? What just happened? <laughs> you climbed through that. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think I broke the game, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not glitching, but I think my game is absolutely broken. 
<laughs> we have to go to kill it. Good chick. <laughs> the game's saying it is a glitch by giving me subliminal messaging. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stupid game. <laughs> yeah, now we're one of them now. I did. Oh my god, I didn't glitch it. <laughs> That was not my fault. Also, Piku, do you think I'm going to be negative on this split? I'm going to go with negative. Yes or no? Wait, I didn't hear you. Probably not. Alright, well, we'll see. It's going to be close. How bad is Rumble do? I don't know. Okay, so keep in mind, that was also before I practiced any glitchless. Because it was in May that I did that run. It was really what bad. Was okay. was trying to climb through some <laughs> Let's just say I took everything really, really slowly. Okay, so uh um, Yeah, so what Lara's supposed to do is she plays an animation where she's climbing through the metal, but she climbs through a hole in the metal to the left. What happened was Lara went through the metal on the right side instead of doing what she's supposed to do, which is clip, or not clip, but effectively move over to align herself with the opening, which she didn't do. Okay, I lost eight and a half seconds. Or I lost yeah, 40 no seconds, way. but from my last run, I'm only behind by eight seconds. All right, and now we officially have access to the Wicked Veil. So it is time now to separate from the original play style, and we are now going to do the Wicked Veil. Yeah, Our adventure now we... truly begins. So about, I don't know mill. nothing from this point for one minute. Alright, so uh, we have tried to figure out ways to break the Wicked Veil, uh, all of which have turned out pretty un... Like, there haven't been any results from it. Can you die? Uh, because the problem is with the Wicked Veil is that it's a series of missions, and if you don't progress the missions properly, then um, the game doesn't like move you forward. You actually Laura have to finish all the missions. So we start with the disturbance in the sawmill, as, and then what we have to do is we have to talk to Nadia here, and she's a quest Laura? she's a quest giver. I'm Nadia. So I could use your help. What can I do? So now we have to wait for her to finish talking. Because the uh, they have to kind of explain what's going on. And the background from here is that her grandfather went off to the Wicked Vale to figure something out. And the plan is for... Um, she wanted to go after the Baba Yaga, which is the uh, witch in Russian mythology. Oh, I need to press yes. And... Um, what uh, we need to do is we need to figure out what happened to her grandfather. Let's kill the kitty yeah, cat! Awesome. Kill the kitty yeah, cat! Yeah. Where's the kitty cat? No, will you charge me, please? What is this cat's AI, dude? Thank you. Yes, we need a cat. <laughs> I have to kill it. It's gonna chase me into the cave. Oh, okay. You have to kill it, or you can't you can't go towards the voice of God without killing it. It's mandatory, which is unfortunate. There's a trail here. Well but oh uh, yeah, so she wants to go chase after her grandfather, and what we need to do is we need to go after him because she can't do it on her own. She doesn't know where the Laura, Wicked Veil vale is. I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? And now yeah, we have to listen to Nadia talk. I can monitor the invaders' yeah, frequency it's also worth noting that Nadia is actually the second character you can play in the endurance one, you play in Toll. Uh, and no, she's... remember, you don't play as her, the, uh, allied character does. My people we found this out, <laughs> but we also figured out the servers weren't working anymore. <laughs> the vale. okay, the server wasn't working, we still could connect to each other. We could! It just took, uh, what, like, 30 minutes of just waiting? Wasn't it 30? Yeah, wasn't one playing as Nadia and one the other one's Lara? Uh, we were both playing as Lara, and then the co-op player in our game was displayed as Nadia. Steady. Oh, okay, but still. Displayed as Nadia. Are you kidding me? Lara didn't turn left? Whee! Shit! Down the hole we go. Steady. Uh, hello. 
I didn't think I pressed jump, but I guess I did. So, we are heading towards the Voice of God Challenge Tomb. Don't right, worry. This is 100% extraneous. We are not doing it. That's a long time to upload. The DLC anyways. It's an awesome DLC. Back. Baba Yaga is my favorite DLC in this game. Second uh, is Blood Ties. The Croft Manor DLC really is kind of awesome. Kothrana Raga! Alright, let's see. Well, here we go. Now we're heading to Wicked Vale. No! <gasps> Uh, all right, it looks like the stream crasher, so I'll be getting that uh, back up soon, as soon as possible. Give me one second. Oh, maybe I should enable my mic <laughs> on this when I'm not using. All right, it looks like Genesis internet went out completely, so that's why the stream crashed. Uh, uh, um, but I should probably pause the timer. It might be a great idea. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think it was. Luckily, that we are. We did start like very far ahead of schedule. Like this was this run was supposed to start. This run was supposed to yeah, start, sorry. what's it called, 30 minutes ago, so roughly? 28 minutes, and we're already 45 minutes in, so we're, we, we've we got plenty of time. He yeah. just disconnected yeah. from the uh, voice call. Hopefully he'll be back. But uh, in the meantime, I guess you can uh, sell out again if you want, Piku, because <laughs> I've got a Discord capture live. Oh, Genesis is back. What? Oh, hello there. Hi. Now... All right, sorry about that. My internet kind of uh, crapped now, out. Now there's me, one uh, thing, and this but might trigger the different. audio block. Yeah, I just I have Discord capture live, by the way, so you're live. I'm way, just sorry about know. that. What? Genesis can't hear us. I also can't hear you guys. <laughs> I guess Here, you can't hear even us. Then bring me back in. So I just want to say this on mic quickly that um, the me reloading the audio stream right here may actually cause the fabled OBS audio bug. So just be prepared for it. I'll reload the stream now and if there's no more output on the video, uh, audio output. I have to reopen OBS. <laughs> I think I have to reopen Discord too. I can't hear you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna temporarily okay, let me check mute my Genesis on my end. so Because <laughs> he can't hear me in vehicle, so I'm gonna unmute him soon. Uh, so... Oh. So yeah, just... Once Genesis is back uh, live, I will quickly off. transition this to be here. Once Genesis... Yeah. Genesis can hear us yeah, again, Pico? just start streaming again, Genesis. Cool, thank you. I, I put you back up again. So you're live, you're on Discord, just yeah, you know. let me know when, you're, when your stream's back up. Alright, I am reopening everything. Try uh, yeah, to get OBS task task manager. open. I think I need to crash it. Yes. All right. Time is possible. Again. I'm sorry. Uh, my internet just does that so sometimes. So We're trying know. to figure out what the problem is. Yep. Cool. All right. I'm starting the stream again. Let's see if it connects this time. Hey, it's open. Uh, it's stuck on connecting. Let me check. Do we need to do, we need to do uh, that? Potentially. Kick yes, let it? me do that. Let me do that. Let me Maybe. do that. Maybe. It seems like it's trying RGB? to connect. Because I have some links that nukes the complete RGB. Again, this might also cost the OBS audio box. So if there's suddenly silence, uh, spam the chat with panic and <laughs> we'll get it. Right, nuke everything. Nuked. Alright, let me see if we still have audio on the stream. Just waiting for it. I did not trigger oh, the audio. Seems to have connected. All right. All right. It seems to have just come through. 
Alright, it seems... Not yet, but... Uh, do you it, see my it stream? It's, takes it says a while it's coming through. This, so do you give me a second? Okay. It's all good. Um, my apologies, I, I'm very sorry. This at another media source. I'm going to use another media source. Uh, this may or may not, uh, before I do anything here, let me copy the transform, paste the transform, paste the link. I'm just going to ignore the source from now on. Just some quick... Uh... The nice thing, the nice thing is I noticed very quickly that it froze, so I just stopped everything. I believe I have to stream back up. Yes, are you so resume? I need some All motion. Right. Just go for the menu a little bit, please, so I see that we have video. Cool, thank you. We're... I am scrolling. We are back live, so I'm going to switch um, back to the, the score the, should uh, also be audio, updating, so, so. Uh, just a little bit of silence so we don't echo on each other, if that's possible. Okay, we're gonna resume in three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, I can't make that jump. I can't make that jump. <laughs> oh my God, I am so, oh my God, it puts me back here. Okay, well, I guess we get to watch this one more time. You get to see what you missed and, oh, oh my God. Uh, okay, I think this is my cue that I should probably stop playing this game after this run. This is horrendous. This is so bad. <laughs> but I guess this is technically a D-Rust, so it's alright. Okay, so we're gonna start over from here. We're gonna keep going. Alright. So, what happened was it uh, broke away, I believe, when I was sliding down this rope. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come along this path. Nice. So, um, if you don't have the DLC installed, that rope that I jumped down would not be here. And actually, it doesn't attach itself until you start the mission. So, I'm gonna roll into the wall just to be safe. All right. All right. Now we are officially. But da da da. Give me the trigger. We are now officially. Oh come on. Trigger, please. Oh, I'm not in the veil yet. Or I am in the veil, apparently. Be careful. Strange. I didn't get a Wicked Veil update, I don't think. Anyway, so what's actually happening here that we're going to find out later, these flowers that she just walked past are sprouting pollen, and they end up making her hallucinate. I might just let this part play, because it's kind of awesome. My head is spinning, and... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's... Unfortunately, Piku is muted, so he can't be my uh, compatriot here, but this place is so creepy, and I absolutely adore it. Oh, I kicked that skull. Oh, I kicked it again. Follow me, skull! Oh, no, it's too far away. Unfortunate. No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close, love. I'm close, love. Where am I? How far does this path go? It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop! Please don't! God, no! Totally not a jump scare. There is a truth behind the wall. I just want to leave, please. This area is so cool. I'm sorry, but this no. this is your no. introduction to the Wicked Veil. It's kind of awesome. And it also goes into some of Lara's backstory. And then, of course, these doors are going to close behind us. One thing I like is if you keep the camera focused this way, I believe it just despawns. Oh, sorry. You see the trees pop up. That's not creepy. Who are you? Come and see. 
this area, I'm sorry. This area is so cool. I need, I need Piku to unmute himself. So he can talk to me. Not possible. It's just a myth. Oh, I got everything working again. I wanted you to talk so you could watch the Wicked Veil. Do I get the fall? Do I get the fall? Oh, I didn't fall. Dang it. Uh, it's possible to fall off of that early. Alright, let's see if I can get the quick, uh, quick rotation. One, two. One, two, three. I shot you, but I guess not. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm gonna get extra waves now. If I killed, uh, that last wolf on one try, these extra wolves wouldn't have spawned. And the problem is, now there's gonna be extra wolves. And uh, these wolves wouldn't be here. So I'm, I'm getting a really slow rotation here, but that's all of them. Should be. Yeah, okay. That was a mistake on my part. And then, of course, we complete a mission, and now we'd be granted a brand new mission. So you have to do this part. It's mandatory. Yes, I'm here, I think. What happened? You started coughing. This said something about flowers. Indeed and it is. And then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. I'm not petting the doggies. The doggies want to kill me. There is a flower in a Which is interesting because um, it's unclear whether those are hallucination dogs or actually real dogs. Or wolves. They're actually wolves, not dogs. Sorry. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help. But that's not the case because Lara's hallucinating. Last time Grandpa ever saw her. But uh, those those wolves can actually hurt her. Shh, no, spoilers! I don't think she put... Uh, I don't think they ever actually explain it. So we are forced to pick up one collectible. We are now officially playing 100%. 100% Wicked Veil, let's go. Right, Piku? 100% Wicked Veil, let's go? Yes? No? Ah, uh, We got a collectible. We gotta do it now. Oh, got stuck on a rock. We go to... The Hidden Refuge. <laughs> Guess what? I, I, I'm back to a minute 12 behind. <laughs> oh, hey, I brought my sum of best down five minutes so far. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'm plus a minute 12. All right. Oh, what? Uh, you should be able to hear me. Or I should be able to hear him. It's hooked up. Oh! Oh, oh, that's on me. Okay, I know what that problem is. Let me fix that. Um, I need to change this and change it back. Okay, say something, Piku? Say it again. Interesting. My OBS is now not picking you up. Um, let me go to default, apply, and then switch it back. Apply. Say something? Apparently, okay, I think I know what the problem is. I need to go to my Discord settings. Um, that is my bad. I can hear you. Yes. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to stop? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, okay, I mean, I have the stream open. Let me turn on the volume. Let me 
see if I can hear you. Oh, sorry. I mean, I can't. Um, okay, okay. go. Sorry, go. Okay. Sorry, I did misunderstood. My apologies. The liver should be easy. The deer run their feet on the flowers, so you'll just need to try I didn't realize them. my As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. Nah. I'll let you know when I find it. And then we need to grab I'll these seed pods the as well. I don't know why I'm having issues, that's my bad. Continuing? Okay, I did continue, but I'll, I'll explain what I did. So what I just did... Um... <laughs> we have to grab two deer livers, we have to grab five... Uh... Okay, so I, I see mine is working. Mine... I, I love technical difficulties. Interesting, the output should be coming through... It was working before everything died. God, it was functioning. Oh, I'm not. I'm not speaking. Um. All right. All right. So what I did was we had to. We have to pick up. Uh, okay. So we need to. We need to pick up deer pods and. Um, oh, I missed this. Um, we need to pick up deer pods, and we need to pick up our deer livers and seed pods. Thank you, Piku. Um, so we need to pick those up. We need two livers and five seed pods. The the two deers that those wolves were eating were the two livers that I picked up. Oops. And then we need to head over this way. And Okay, we're back. Uh, cool. I need to go. This is the wrong way. I need to go up. That's fine, because we're in the same Can spot. anybody hear me? Or am I talking to myself? One. Two. Three. That chemical from grandmother's four, notes? Five. I think I wow. found it. <laughs> they stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal Back with the uh, in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical? They're great. Idea? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. I suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Oh my god. <laughs> Piku secretly glitching. That's what's happening. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. I scrambled too early, that? okay? And I was too close to the edge. It's fine. We still got 10 minutes I to finish the game will not before, finish it in 10 minutes. One. Found it. Three. Two. Just keep going. Five. Just picked up another Seven. Pitch. They're on the move. Nine. They're, oh no. They're headed straight for you. <laughs> we have lift off. Oh my god, grab onto it. Okay. She didn't grab, so I didn't get to loot those guys. Will you die, please? You are not going to shoot me with the golden thing, bro. Get out of my, get out of here. Let's take it out of my life, but I want to get out of here. Alright. So everything's good? Is audio all back? I think everything's good. Alright. A bit of a question, because it can even glitch on a casual run, which 
the game is kind of, the game is kind of broken. Although it's not as broken as the technical yeah. difficulties we are clearly having with this game. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, well, this game is uh, that's I don't know what just happened. That was I'm not, I don't know why that why that broke. It was working fine yesterday. It was working fine earlier, and then my internet dies, and then all the audio just breaks. Everything just goes yeah. wild. So, by the way, update on what's happening in the story. Um, those deer livers and seed pods we picked up. Is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own edit. And enough for Grandpa if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Okay. We That's fine. For this, like I third think, time. I think this is my fault. So. Yes, correct. It is muted. Uh, Discord has not been functioning in OBS for a while. So, yeah, I'm seeing nothing from you guys talking. Wait. Okay, I'll right, continue. We got yep. Just continue now. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything you guys are saying on my OBS feed. That's so. fine, because I'm Discord capturing no, you now, so <laughs> it's all good okay. to I, uh, so, by the way, the reason earlier I said that I don't know if those animals were real or fake is because there are wolf corpses here now that weren't here during the hallucination. But, um, <clears throat> for the events that have occurred, because I started to say that and then stopped, um, the, uh, we needed the deer livers and the seed pods to be able to engineer an antidote to the pollen. Okay, let's land that, please. Thank you. And that was what we needed to do. And then the benzo... Benzo Zyadate? What the? Laura. Uh, that was just another piece of the, of the puzzle that we needed to get. I guess. Hmm. Beats me. So we're going to go back down. By the way, Piku, if you want, we will have a moment where you will be able to plug when when you feel like it in a little bit. Plug them. Have like this? two minutes for plugs. Two minutes? What? We just. Oh, you'll see. you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. We just need to get there first. It's gonna be right after the puzzle. After I finish this uh, puzzle, you'll see what I mean. No, I started playing on PC. Oh, yeah. No, I started playing oh, on... Uh, yeah, I guess I started playing on PC when it wasn't broken. But um, uh, I'm currently I feel like this is more the fact that my internet had a crap OBS out and not the fact right that OBS is breaking. Because it was working it. fine before and then OBS <laughs> failed to reconnect. Uh, and I think quick, uh, that that have... just led to problems because it attempted a, a oh connection God, but like kind of started it but then didn't really finish it. That's all I can imagine. So, Piku, I hope you're ready for two minutes of literally nothingness. Are you ready? Oh, that's great. Well, let me just say that this is probably the most boring segment of the entire game for everybody involved. Wait, where is it? I know it's here. There it is. That's two. So, feel free to plug. We have loads of time. Yep, still have a good time animations, though. Cheap bastards. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're still clearly in doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, go. benefiting your rescue, which helps says, animals get help and get off the streets and you find new homes and so on. We are no non-professional organization that does that, so everything will go towards animals, nothing towards any big companies, hopefully. But if you want to do. <laughs> If you want to donate, you can use a mark donate to find a donation link, and all donations can also go towards incentive to find new runs, name stuff, stuff like that. You can find an exclamation mark incentive. We got a f next thing we got coming up is the bonus run of Celeste. No, wait, that's actually not. No, no. Uh, we what else do we got? We got the Hula Luna Knights. Change category to extreme percent. No major skips. Which still needs 30 bucks to be reached. And what is coming after Celeste? Which is later this evening after Wild Arms 5 Overrun, which also be, will be coming up after Rise. 
But yeah, if you want to check out all the stuff we still got, we still got like about six, seven things that need to be met. Nadia, can't use exclamation mark incentives. Oh, okay. we're done with the soul ride. Yes, it is over. And here we see a Russian grandpa. I'm going to grab as much ammo as I can because this can be important. Dizzy. No, I need that last antidote. So Lauren needs to drink the antidote because pollen, but she's going to decide that, oh yeah, I want to drink it, but she's going to get knocked aside and the poison or the potion is going to break. So now she is hallucinating. Will you die, please? What? What, are these two are they? what? what just happened? Don't ask me. What the hell is that the rope? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this game is so broken. <laughs> um, okay. Let's land a real rope this time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> sure. Also, yeah, we're actually burning up a really old person because we we'll find out so when we get to the end. People. What the? I just still got a flag that no glitches allowed does not support like violence against old people, so. <laughs> Gotta make sure they know your allegiance on that specific subject. Yes. So nothing's wrong with the game. Lara's hallucinating right now, okay? Yeah, if you just stop hallucinating at the... <laughs> that the rope turned into a piece of uncooked spaghetti or something. Yeah, that was totally part of the hallucination. That wasn't the game breaking or anything. That was all fake. None of that was part of this. Yeah, let's plug some. No, wait, let's use some commands. Thank you. I was hoping you'd die. Okay, quick. Run, 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 run. Don't let that guy get me. I go fast. Get out of here, bro. No, you got four minutes. Not even four minutes to finish it. When does time end on this one? Uh, it ends on the fifth hit uh, against the witch. I'm only at two. This will be hit number three. I gotta hit her five times. I'll tell you when it's time. Don't worry, I'll let you know. Oh, this is already here. I forgot this rope is already here. Oh, I just wonder. You don't have to let me know you have to let the coach. Yes, same thing, I guess. Okay, yeah, so it's gonna end on the fifth hit, and I've only done three now. Yeah, I still got three minutes. It's fine. Uh, I will finish in that time because the rest of this is pretty short. Uh, I just have to make sure that I shoot the lady there. She's going to affect me. Uh, the nice thing is you get checkpoints every time you hit her and every time you make progression. So it's actually not too bad. Okay, you did. I am going over there. I need to make sure. A lot of times I forget where I'm supposed to go at this phase. Because there's an archer dude over there, so I think I have to go over there. But what you're supposed to do is go over here. Well, the I like the gold I find actually faster to have than this. No, you want the assault rifle because you want to. Oh my god. All right. Well, fantastic, Lara. I hate you. I have not failed that one before. Well, so I'm gonna be the first forever here. Go, 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 Lara, go, 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 go! That, I did not deserve that, but I will take it. So, why did you need this over? Wrong way. Um, it is, the wolves die in one hit anyway, and pistol ammo is very use, is very important. Cause yeah, pistol ammo up. makes uh, killing enemies really easy in here. And so, I like to save it. Okay. Okay, that's hit number four, so we're almost there. Get busy at the 
Would the dark moon then be better as a pistol? Because it reloads faster and all that shit. Uh, I mean, you spend so much time waiting, it actually doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure it's not worth the time in, that you have to invest to upgrade it. Oh. Can I hit you, please? Thank you. Alright, let's just rush the goal. Yeah, we're going for the last hit, I guess? Uh, yeah, we are on our way to get the final hit. Because we have to hit her five times! Keep in mind, right now, I have no health upgrades. I didn't grab any. I missed the cycle. Pretty shite. I am not doing very well. But it's fine! Oh, we're going to our estimate soon. Eh, yeah, we're not going to go over estimate. We'll be fine. I'm actually, I need to get to the other side of the room, kill a couple enemies, and then the run's over. So I'm almost done. Well, got actually, I will go over estimate. Never mind, I will go over estimate. <laughs> not by very much, though, but yes. But it's also because of, like, those technical problems, too. Yeah, I've got a lot of things for me. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. You can just pretend this wasn't the worst thing. Yeah, I can pretend, but no one will believe it. Okay, almost there. Ready? Be ready on the timer. We're almost there. Come on. Can you pull faster? Three, two, one, stop. That's time. Woo. Yes, time. Yeah, there's not go much or less than it seems like. 26 seconds. GG, I hope I timed that right. It's, it's a little bit complicated to time a Discord capture. But, I think uh, it's fine. Yeah. So the mission completed. That's what we need to do. Okay, then go. let's go settle that exploit. Eh? Yes, it's very, very fast. It will not take me very long. Okay, let's uh, go to the train yard. Oh, good. Soul Killer still needs yeah, we'll to do some minimum. stuff before uh, we can actually start setting him up, so uh, that's fine. Just two or more for three minutes, that's fine. Oh, it won't take that long. It takes however long it takes to load, and then we'll be there. Okay, chat. You're here, gonna decide if this is a, gonna count a glitch. glitch or an exploit. <laughs> so, preface. Like I said, whenever Lara lands, she. Um, whenever Lara lands and you press the jump button, it will search around her for some ground that she can climb on. So it's slightly elevated and near her. If it finds one, it will do a vault, which is what we did at the beginning in intro. If it doesn't, it will just jump again like this. So we just jump, jump like that. Okay, so time to settle the score. So right here, we have a box, right? It's on the other side of this fence. We can't go through this fence. What we're supposed to do is go up that ladder. But if you jump at this, turn to the right and then Press the jump button. We can go through the box and onto the other side of the fence, and then hop That's right back That's definitely over. a glitch. <laughs> it is yeah. not a glitch. What? It's a glitch. Okay, so that means that if I were to do a vault up onto the next box, that would also count as a glitch, right? No. Like I just did, technically. Oh, because it's, it's like I not... said that the thing is that you're going through a solid object. That's the glitch part, not the uh, mechanic. It's not a glitch. Also, oh, this I isn't say a solid an object. So the fence is isn't it? a solid object, technically. No, it's not. The fence has holes in it. Lara's <laughs> just squishing her meat through the f f holes yes, in the fence. Game in game development. Wait, I don't object. even need to jump. I can just walk up to it? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. New strats, boys. We just found new strats in life. <laughs> I mean, go. I've done that twice now, apparently. <laughs> Hold on. I got to try this. How did I do that? More new strats. Oh, I did it. There we go. Yeah, we got three votes against the glitch. Oh my. Against? No. Oh my god, it's like... not a glitch! <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <laughs> it's totally not a glitch. Spoiler, it's well, a glitch. Use antenna mechanic, yes. What wait a mean? minute, wait a minute. I can. Hold on. What did I just do? No clue. I need to try that again. You I do. landed on the upper box. 
Though I can agree that using a me animation mechanic to go through the fence, the part it's which goes through mechanic. the fence is the problem. That's the problem. That's what's Oh my good. god, it's... Ugh. You're all wrong. <laughs> That's the only right answer. Everybody else is wrong. Yes. Oh, I see. Are you different? Everyone so far. Well, okay. So think about it for a second. So you need to like turn to the right when you land, so she's facing the object, so she climbs up because you know that's how vaulting works. In fact, I can just do it from the box. Effectively, that uh, that's not a vault. That's a jump. But anyway, it's like I don't know how that's a glitch. You want to see a real going glitch? Through a solid object. Okay, if you guys want to see a real glitch. Oh, do I need a reload checkpoint in here? I didn't need a reload checkpoint. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the 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 out uh, the water out of bounds. Since we have some time, like Little <laughs> might bit. as well do something that's fun, you know? Using a totally exploit trick. Okay, there we go. I have not practiced this in ages, so I don't know exactly where to land. I hit the death plane. Do you seriously put on screen it's a glitch? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> rude. <laughs> so rude. What? What did you do? He put, I put it on text. screen. I put a text on the game that says booster message this is a glitch. <laughs> That's so well, unfair. <laughs> so um, far, only Set 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 Are Real is the only one who's ever said it's not a glitch so far. To everyone you're saying, it's not a glitch. It's okay to have wrong opinions. I agree, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I very much agree with you. Got there, Genesis. <laughs> this is great. I we do gotta. <laughs> we still got some time, yeah. but Wild Arms doesn't have the audio set up yet, so we we can do that in ten minutes. But you. We do gotta, yeah, you got like three more, three, four, four more minutes at most, because we are gonna ha also gotta hand off the restream, so. Alright, I need to go back to Soviet installation. Uh, or, or I need to go to the uh, the campsite. So I can go clip through a wall. I gotta go clip through walls. I'm sorry, I understand the event is no glitches, but you know, like, <laughs> I've, been sober, I've, I've been sober, I've been sober on glitchless for like, a week now, or, or for a month now, I gotta, I just, I gotta glitch, man. You, you don't know how it feels, and I, it's I fine. rolled right past the campfire. We're absolutely fine with like little exhibitions at the end of it. It's just a slower, like we don't have like full runs of it. That's the, that's the bad. Like we yeah, don't yeah. have like bonus runs or something like that. But we're fine with little exhibitions like that. What could have been, you know? I mean, uh, actually, there, I could technically do an exhibition run for blood ties because the world record for any percent is four and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't really have enough dice highs that. Well, like, I know. I yeah. actually, I actually need to uh, install the DLC anyway. But I'm yeah, saying right, like, right. I, don't, I haven't learned it. But there's one wall. If you do a if you do a jump climb on it, then it shall just go up and out of bounds into the attic or something. It's actually kind of funny. All right, let's get to the wall so I can clip through it really quick. Because you know, I, I just I got a glitch, man. It's been too long. I'm treating it like alcoholism. <laughs> All right, let's get to the wall. I got, I gotta break it. Hey, I thought you said Pickett was gonna be on. This Wait, there's enemies here. Since when are there enemies here? Piku. Since when are there enemies? It's me. I didn't know enemies spawn here. Okay. So we're gonna come up to this wall. Oh, I didn't do it right. My camera angle wasn't good. Nope. Come on. Give me the good camera angle. Yeah, I'll give you a few more attempts because we're allowed to start switching around here soon. Yeah. Let me through the wall. For our setup. Uh, yeah, I got everything up and running here. Right, dude, I, I forgot to enable my mic before yeah. asking you that, so... <laughs> XT. Let asking. me through the wall! <laughs> <laughs> Let me through the wall, not at least. Let me go! 
I need. I don't think it's camera angle dependent. I think mm. my camera angle's fine. I don't need to scramble. I got this first try in my hundred percent. There it is. All right, cool. Hurrah! And then we and go yeah. underneath the pipe, and we are back in bounds. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go! Be... <laughs> I got it! It's gonna be all the glitch showcase we have time for. Yeah. Uh, wait, one more through, through one more wall! Uh, come on! Scramble! <laughs> Alright, go! Go! Oh, yeah. Got the stream! Got the stream! This is really like glitches right now. <laughs> oh, you don't know like, how good Just do some was. quick shout outs and then we'll, uh, we'll hand it over. Alright, so... I guess shout outs to, um... Lee Me from the Tomb, Ra Tomb Raider Discord. Uh, or not just the two meter discord, but like two meter speed running because uh, he really helped out with like getting me into glitchless runs. Same with like Deku. I got to the wall. Beautiful. Um, and then also shout out to 100% because I'm like the only runner of it and it's an awesome category and it's really fun to play. Uh, PQ, do you have anything, anything you want to say? No, not really. Just we're gonna quit now so we don't do any more glitches. Okay. We're showing too much. Last thing, shout out, shout out to the entire two meter discord. Oh yeah, post right in the chat, post right in the chat. And then, uh... Wait. We're done? That's it for me. Uh, I do 100% speed runs on my Twitch page pretty often. I'm gonna switch over to Shadow, do 100%. Uh, yeah, I think that's good for me. Right, it was, uh, it was fun having you. Thanks for running. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. And we'll see you soon, guys, with Soul Killer running Wild Arms. So uh, just so everyone's informed here, we will be having a quick uh, restreamer um, change here. So Picker Fighter uh, will be taking over the restream for now, and uh, I will be heading off for, well, not really the night. <laughs> I restreamed the night. I will be heading off for the day, I guess. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll be doing that now. So don't worry if the stream cuts out. Uh, it'll be a few seconds until it gets uh, back live. Don't panic. Yeah, yeah, no panic, no panic. <laughs> and. And then it's time to for Wild Arms 4, so see you for that. Stream will be going down and back up.